oven has no power. Non-responsive touch screen. Let's check the breaker. Breaker does not appear to be tripped, but I'm turning it off. I'm not resetting it. I'm gonna slide the oven out. I wanna take a look behind here where the power cord's hooked up, held in by two Phillips head screws. This is the main power that operates the 120. Look how loose that is, and it's charred. Um, this happened because this screw is not tightened enough. I've got some replacement wires. They are the exact same size. If you don't have these, match up the wire and then make sure that the I is rated for the amperage of the wire. I'm gonna take off this back panel held in by three screws on each side. Gonna remove the old wires. inspect the terminal block it actually still seems to be good I'm going to use a large wire nut for the bigger wire I'm also gonna tape this so I know it won't come loose. Even though wire nuts typically don't come loose if they're put on correctly. Hook up L1, incoming power. Nice and tight. There are some hooks that this hooks onto. I'm going to put this cover back on um, and then I'm going to test it and I'm going to order some more parts. Um, basically this needs a plastic piece. Um, I forget what they're called but these wires should not be rubbing against this metal. That is a hack. This thing right here should be removed and broken off. That is another hack. This was installed by a renovation company and if you're in maintenance, you got to watch your reno installers and get on them before they do every single unit. This has already been done probably 400 times, so that's bad. Very bad. We got power. I'm going to go ahead and set the clock since we're here. Go ahead and give it a test. 
and most of the time most of the time if your oven doesn't have power and the breakers on that's going to be your issue thanks for watching